This is Matthew of Another World Terraria, where I teach and inspire you on the topics of rare plants and artistic nature displays. In two earlier videos, I unboxed some jungle plants from BoostPlant.com and did a tutorial on their setup and care. In this video, I'm going to share an amazing three-month update on the plants. Let's start with the Labesia species turtleback. Obviously, the plant has grown significantly and has a lot more leaves. Unfortunately, it's too big and is hitting the top of the bin, but I don't have any other place to grow it that's large enough, but also enclosed in a container to maintain the proper conditions. Some of the leaves are malformed because they're pressing up against the bin as they're trying to grow. There are various other defects on the new leaves, probably as a side effect of being pressed against the top as just noted, keeping them wet and close to the bright and hot light. We also had a heat wave here which drove the temperatures in the plant room ridiculously high. I'll share a little info about how this specimen has progressed since the beginning. The first growth I noticed was roots coming off of the stem, which happened within a few weeks of planting. Within a month, the roots were much larger and all along the stem. At first, the turtleback was extremely slow to do anything, likely due to it needing to grow a strong root system and get acclimated to the new conditions, but then suddenly it exploded into vigorous and fast growth, which completely shocked me. If you'll recall from the planting video, the plant and leaves were off to the side of it, but as expected, it eventually righted itself and all of the foliage is pointing upward now. The reorientation happened mostly when the growth spurt occurred. One thing that surprised me is that the plant got taller and branched out, because at first I thought this species grew as a single stem with a rosette of leaves. Note this little dwarfed leaf, which is the one that was just beginning to form inside the growth point when I unboxed the plant. Stunted growth like this is pretty common with plants that go through a shock and stress, such as shipping and being placed in new conditions. I've only given this plant a light watering a couple of times in the past few months. All I did was mist the plant and wet the substrate a little, and that was mostly during the heat spell which was causing the substrate to dry out. As mentioned in the care video, I kept the turtle back in dim light at first, and then eventually increased the light intensity when I felt the plant was acclimated and stable. As far as the rest of the bin, some of the filler plants are growing in nicely, such as the Selaginella species, Begonia lichenora, and mini ferns. Let me know what you think of this turtleback plant or anything else in the comments below. Now let's move on to the other plants. These smaller species are a bit larger than they were in the beginning, but obviously haven't grown nearly as much or as fast as the turtleback. To be fair, I have kept these in dim light for a longer period than the turtleback. I recently increased the light and they seem to be growing slightly faster now. This small dark leafed plant had foliage bent to the side and also has reoriented itself just like the turtleback did. By the way, the video description has links to these plants on the boostplant.com website in case you want to add some new hotness to your collection. Based on how all the jungle plants are doing, I'd say they're loving the custom experimental substrate mix I made, as well as the other conditions of the setup. You can learn about all of that in the care video. Overall, I'm very happy with the plants and how well they've grown, and I'm excited to see how the smaller species do over time. I'm blown away by the turtleback, but very disappointed that my available space can't handle its magnificence, so I'll have to make some tough decisions very soon. Thanks again to the team at BoostPlant.com for helping make this video possible. If you enjoy my videos, please consider giving them a like, and join Team Terraria by subscribing now. Remember to click the bell so you'll get notified when I post new content.